Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on this Atlas jack plate for a boat. Um, long story short, got it from a guy the other day for a hundred bucks. Um, he said it didn't work, um, took it off his boat, bought a brand new one. And from looking at it, I mean, heck, it looks almost brand new other than just a little bit of corrosion here, like where it was bolted to the boat. But um, anyways, found it online and uh, I was like, ah, for a hundred bucks, it's worth the gamble. So long story short, he said it wasn't working. Well, you can see he even cut the wire super short because he said he, you know, just replaced the jack plate. But um, anyhow, got it back to the shop, started tinkering around with it and uh, hooked me up a battery on the table here with a little wire and stuck it to it. Well, if we can get it to work here. There we go. And as you can see, it works. Um, the only issue it actually had was the seals here on the piston were shot. And I don't know if that's what he meant by it didn't work or if he just thought the pump was bad. I don't know what the deal was, but I guess he called Atlas and they told him that it was going to be like $900 to fix it. And he's like, ah, I'll just buy a brand new one. So, and I did, I looked it up once I got it, but this whole assembly here is like $900. So maybe that's what they were trying to sell him was just this whole assembly. But anyhow, um, I started looking at it real hard and I was like, you know what? This shouldn't be too hard to, you know, pull apart because it's just got this little cap here with these four holes in it. And obviously I run a uh, metal fab shop and I was like, man, that looks just like my grinder nuts on my grinder, which uh, as you can see there, it's almost the same exact thing. So I got my um, adjustable grinder nut wrench out and sure enough, I made it to where it could fit on there. And I went ahead and pulled that thing apart and this is the upper seal which is like a wiper seal i believe they call it it goes like right here where my pinky's at um obviously as you can see it was shot um it was cracked in half and then on the inside of this black piece once you remove it there's a couple of uh seals inside of that little piece there and they were completely gone like they were just crumbling in my fingers so um I ended up getting online, uh, ordered a, actually here, I got it right here. I ordered the seal kit. It's a FSM 144 and, uh, it comes out of, I think Newport Ritchie, Florida. Anyhow, got it in two days. It came with, uh, all the new seals, which I didn't, I didn't even use these cause I think they go, the big seal there is where the motor goes on. And then the other two seals were for something in here, which I don't think is bad. Um, if it is, I'll pull it apart again and replace it. But anyhow, um, it seems to be working, but just trying to let you guys know, if you ever get a jack plate that quits working on you or starts leaking, it is so easy to fix. I mean, literally you just put this on there. These are like $10. Go buy you one of these instead of the 80 or $90 one that they sell that actually works for this. This works just as good. I mean, it's the same thing. Um, but take that out. Order this uh, $63 seal kit. You're only going to use a couple of seals if you're not replacing everything. Um, but anyways, pull that out. Take a pick like this here, real sharp pick. Get inside of that black piece and take the old seals out. Put the new ones in. Put it all back together. And... Uh, it should fix your problem if you've got a leak in uh, cylinder. It definitely fixed this one. So right now I'm like uh, $163 into this uh, $1,600 jack plate. So just letting you guys know, don't listen to um, Atlas if you call them and say, hey, man, my uh, <laughs> my jack plate's leaking. They'll want to sell you this whole assembly here for $900. But literally just go on to, um, I think it was Five Star Marine. And... Um, which yep that's for five star marine and that's their part number right there like i said it comes with all the seals and the uh, gaskets that you need only takes probably maybe tops 10 minutes if you're not mechanically inclined um super super simple fix 
only thing I've got left to do to it since it was leaking. I have not put any more fluid in it. But um, before, whenever I would jump this motor over right here, it would just spew fluid all out of here. And right now it's kind of acting a little goofy and I think it's just because it's low on fluid. But as um, soon as we get some, some fluid in it, I think it's gonna work exactly like it should. Um, I hope this video helps you guys. I know it, you know, I didn't really show you doing this part here because I had done it the other night and I just didn't think to record it. But just wanna let you guys know, if you ever run into this issue, either even if it's a Bob's jack plate or an Atlas or any of those jack plate brands, um, most of the time, that's all it is, is a seal in here. Very simple, easy to do. Don't be scared of it. Just, um, just get it done. Save yourself a pile of money. So thanks guys. Appreciate you watching. Hope this helps somebody.